So this is mainly for animal foods. Can humans also eat this stuff? So this is, oh, whole handfuls. Mm. Go check. If you got close. Oh my God. Whoa, now I can see them. I thought this was sawdust or something, but these are absolutely microscopic. Very, little. very small. You see lots of cats, dogs. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I pick them up. Wow. And just feed it here. And if they don't get the, the body, you can just give it there. Really? <laughs> Is that a joke? No, 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 it's not. Really? Yeah, you can do it. Man created this, the waste. When God saw this problem, he created the black soldier fly. They are our bioconverters, mm. naturally. You turn waste into protein, yes. which is valuable yes. for animal feed and human consumption. It's on, more on a circular right. economy. In our last episode, we journeyed through the streets of Manila's biggest slum, where the resilience of the Filipino spirit was evident in every bite of Pug Pug. This discarded food, scavenged and recooked, isn't just about sustenance. It's a reflection of survival, of people that must make do with whatever's at hand, even when it comes with significant health concerns. But the Philippines, always resourceful and forward thinking, isn't stopping at Pug Pug. Today, we're heading to an unusual farm in Angeles City. Here, innovation is at the forefront, offering what might be a safer, more sustainable solution to the current predicament faced by many Filipinos, the black soldier fly lava. Much like Pug Pug, the black soldier fly larva story is about transformation. These larva, with their insatiable appetite, are not just decomposers. They're potential food for humans, for pets, for aquaculture, and for livestock. And in their wake, they leave behind a rich fertilizer. Okay, Dr. Yeah. Brahman. Yeah. Thank you very much for meeting me here. What you have going on here is some kind of fly farm. Yeah, we actually we have a black soldier fly farm. Okay. We control the biodegradable waste and convert it into animal feeds and um, fertilizers. So this is mainly for animal foods. Can humans also eat this stuff? Of course, yes. Of course. Yeah. Well, that's a bit of a weird, of course. Yeah. Okay, great. So if you wouldn't mind, could you give us a bit of a quick tour around your facility? Yeah, sure. This one, we call this our love nest. A love nest. Uh, love nest is where they mate. Okay. Oh, this wow. This is our love nest. Oh, my God. There must be a thousand. How many flies are in here? Uh, so many. This is very big. Actually, you have lots. There, is. there are a ton of flies in here. Here in this one. Okay. Um, this is our boxes of uh, larvae. Yep. And this is our mating. And you see them here. Uh -huh. This is our eggs. All right, so how do these eggs work? Oh my God, these things go everywhere. How they are not shy? Yeah, they're not. No. But they don't go in food. They, they don't go inside food? Yeah, uh, because they're not interested in food. Oh, really? They tend to put their eggs in crevices like this okay. so that it could be safe from mm -hmm. other predators. So essentially, this is the final, well, it's either the beginning or the, the end. Be yeah, this is the beginning. This is the beginning. Technically speaking, these flies are clean. Clean. Yeah, because from the pupal stage, mm -hmm. they hatch into mm -hmm. an adult, meaning they didn't go to the garbage. Mm. They didn't go to the waste. Wow, so they're, they're not in this stage for very long at all. No, it's no, mainly no, no. about it's, the... It's more on reproduction. As clean as these might be, uh, it's still kind of creepy having them crawl all over you. It, it's okay. Actually, I don't right. uh, feel irritated when they're here. Yeah, maybe you're more used to it than me. Uh, maybe. <laughs> That's one also. Okay, okay sorry. From the... The love nest. The love nest. I love we, that. We comp uh, we scrape the the eggs. Okay. We, we we put them here. Uh, we we call them the nursery. Yep. You have four days for them to hatch. Okay. And then we wait for five days before just, we put them there. Just five days. Yeah. Wow. Here. See, they're small. Whoa! Now I can see them. I thought this was sawdust or something. But <laughs> these are absolutely microscopic. Very little... very small. We call we call them the doll. The doll. They old larvae. Oh. The black soldier fly actually, it helps in the circular e economy, controlling your waste. Uh -huh. uh, we are increasing our bio waste. Mm -hmm. Here comes the black soldier fly to solve such problem. Mm -hmm. huh. When they reach the five doll, yep. we transfer them here. Oh wow! That just looks like rice or no? These are uh, soya. This is soya. Soya dust. Actually, it's a waste from one of the factories here. Okay, so we're gonna get some of these five-day-old lava and we're gonna put it directly on top of yeah, the, the yeah. soy. Yeah, 
So if you got closer... Oh my god! These tiny creatures are not just any eaters. They're voracious ones. On average, a black soldier fly larva can consume approximately twice its body weight in organic matter every single day. If you can see the sizes, it's different. This one is we are harvesting this one. Then this one I think is 27. This is already uh, more than 10 days. You turn waste into protein, yes. which is valuable yes. for animal feed and human consumption. It's on more on a circular right. economy. And is there any foods that these can't eat? Or, you know, can you sort of just leave them out here? It seems no, like no. Um, we give all rotting food. Oh wow. So and any kind of food? Right? Any, any. Wow. Sometimes it's also good if you have a funeral parlor and if they don't get the, the body, you can just give it there. Really? <laughs> Is that a joke? No, 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 it's not. Really? Yeah, you can do it. For a ton of waste, you produce 20%. That is your larvae. So meaning if you have one ton right. every day, right. you have 200 every day. You see lots of cats, yeah. dogs. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I pick them up. Wow. And just feed it here because uh, the, 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 the meat actually has a higher protein. What you have given today definitely will be of different kind of rotting food tomorrow. Okay. So it is very, very variable. Oh, there's a lot of variance in the feed. Yes. And that's good for the animal. Good for the yeah. Animal product. Yeah. Mm. Okay. These larva are packed with protein, making them an excellent alternative feed for poultry, fish, pets, and they can even safely be eaten by humans. Right, so this is, oh, whole handfuls. Mm. Oh my God, I'm gonna start out with just a smaller amount. So what, this is like the, the crystallized larva. form? Oh. But the larva chat. Huh. <laughs> yeah, it's, it sort of tastes like, um, like salt or something. It's, you know, just, it's very dry. You know, I've eaten a lot of bugs and I'm used to kind of like a gush. <laughs> but this is, um, huh. It's different. Very different. And this is a good protein, has a lot of protein. 45. 45% protein. Yeah. And what's the rest of it? Fats? Uh, you have amino acids. Amino acids. Mm -hmm. mm. And so this is largely used as animal feed, but obviously we can just eat it like this. Yeah. Because this is uh, human prep, right. the, the ones I have there are all animal prep. I mean, yeah. it's a bit of a neutral flavor, but... No, no, no. I placed some flavoring. There. Okay, that's probably why it tastes mm, so good. Yeah. <laughs> I put some flavoring there. God created man. Mm -hmm. Man created this, the waste. When God saw this problem, he created the black soldier fly. And what's the most valuable product from this? Is it the, the lava as the feed or is it the fertilizer? Actually both. Mm. It is endemic all over the world. Oh wow. Except the north and the south. Ah, so you can't handle really cold conditions? No. Mm, see. And you said that you've got a, a number of these kind of plantations around the Philippines. Like what, is this a government initiative? Is it something you're doing as, a, as an enterprise? Actually, it's like something that you do for, for the environment, mm. advocacy. Are you trying to get other people to do this as well? Yeah, like, actually uh, it's my fifth year now. Mm, right. So you have to look for somebody who knows you and who knows what you are doing. Mm. And you know, it's easier for you both to understand each other. Mm. But if you go to somebody whom you do not know, it's that's very, very impossible. Mm. Do you have any dog and cat food products ready yet? It, it, it is just more like of a feed ingredient. Right, something you'd mix uh, in with their feed. It's something like this. We can go and have a look in a minute. Yeah, sure. Okay. By turning waste into valuable biomass, soldier fly lava offers a dual solution, waste management and a sustainable protein source. Oh, this is the product. Wow. This is... Uh, it depends on your nutritionist, how many kilos are you going to mix in one ton. So this is sort of um, minced yeah. soldier fly larvae? Yes, for pigs and dogs. Pigs and dogs? This is another one. Oh this God. is the organic fertilizer. Ah, I see. This one is 45 and especially in the chicken, you only need 18. Wow, this the is 45% protein? Yeah. Oh my god, it is essentially a protein powder for agricultural yeah, yes, animals. Yes, yes, yes. Wow. Definitely. It could be a game changer. Not only are they addressing waste issues, but they're also providing a sustainable feed alternative, reducing the strain on traditional resources and hopefully reducing the need to rely on foods like Pug Pug. The story of Pug Pug is a testament to the value of every single morsel in the Philippines, a place where every bite counts and food scraps cannot simply be wasted. But with black soldier fly lava, a safer alternative alternative is presenting itself. Here, innovation meets necessity, turning what was once waste into a valuable source of protein. In a country where many need it most, solutions like this offer not only hope, but a practical and sustainable path forward.
Thanks for watching guys. That is it for this one. Black soldier fly larva. Who knew that eating maggots could save the world? It's like something from Snowpiercer. Anyway, if you enjoyed this content, please like and subscribe. It means a lot. We have plenty more coming from both here in the Philippines, in Vietnam, and elsewhere around Southeast Asia. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.